Hey, what's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking to buy the beat down here. Michael, on this Saturday evening, uh, I'm going to do a video uh, kind of talking about and demonstrating the way that I bench press and uh, kind of where I started and where I'm at these days. And uh, it's just kind of a technique that I want to go over uh, that I think uh, could probably benefit everyone. Now I know everyone's different and there's professional, wonderful, amazing, strong people out there that have been bench pressing the way that they bench press for a million years and they're doing amazing. But we can all learn something. We can all take some tips and tricks and techniques and maybe uh, use them for our own good and maybe get something out of them. So uh, I, I want to kind of show you how I do things and where I came from. So the history with me and my working out is I started working out in the 90s. And uh, unfortunately, I don't really have any videos from the 90s. I do have some that I did uh, early on, maybe 2007 to 2010. And uh, you can go back in my playlist and find them somewhere if you want to. But I'm going to kind of give you a demonstration of how I used to bench press a million years ago. And this is the way a lot of people bench press that I see today. Oh. So, a lot of people will grab way out of here on the outs. And you want to make sure you get your, your back into the seat and that you're comfortable and that you're planted in the bench. So a lot of times when you watch my videos, you'll see me kind of wiggle and jiggle around, and that's me kind of setting myself in the bench. So this is what I see, and don't look at my flat stomach. I know it's beautiful. Here we go. Now, what are my elbows doing? Did you notice that? Now let's look at my newer technique that I do. Notice my elbows. They're not doing this. They're doing this. Notice where my hands are. Now, I can tell you from experience that, uh, number one, you need to warm up before you work out a little bit. Number two, I hurt both my shoulders doing bench press on two different benches that were at a friend's house and a friend's house. Both uh, unfamiliar benches. I bench pressed and I kind of messed up both my shoulders. Having said that, I'm able to still bench and do my stuff. Take care of business, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I don't want to get all fun on you. <laughs> Whatever they do. Anyway, I was getting all crazy there. Be serious, Mike. So, uh, I know a little bit about kind of what I'm talking about. Now, like I said, there's a million people out there that do things totally different, and you're doing great. This is just kind of some information that might help you. When you're holding out here, and you're putting your elbows out there, you are at high risk for hurting your shoulders and for developing... Uh, golfer's elbow or tennis elbow. Out here, all of your strength, all of the power that you have, if you can bench press 300 pounds and that's your max press, 
All of your, all of that energy is in this big of an area with your elbows out here and all out here versus if you keep your hands in a little closer and your elbows more tucked in a little bit and coming down like so, now all that 300 pound max is in this small of a frame versus this size of a frame. And your arms are actually in tune with the rest of your body and your shoulders and your triceps and your biceps and your chest and your back and everything's working in a small space to get that weight up. So now your 300 pound max might instantly go up to a 320 max. You never know because all your, all this weight out here is a lot of wasted potential in my humble opinion. Remember, I have, I've worked out for a day or two. And uh, like I said, I know some of you out there are incredibly crazy strong. You've been working out for 50, 60 years and maybe no injuries or maybe you have injuries or maybe you're not lifting as heavy as you want. Maybe you are. So like I said, it's just different uh, tricks and techniques uh, that we can share sometimes that might help other lifters. Because we all want to do better. You know, that's our goal is to try and do a little bit better. And uh, this versus this is kind of like doing, say, a barbell bent row with your legs open wide and trying to do a bent row uh, versus having your legs in closer and doing a bent row. All that, all your power and strength is more combined in, you know, into a smaller space instead of out here where things, you know, you kind of lose a little bit. And you can also pull a groin. Don't do that. Don't pull groins. Boys, don't pull groins. Serious, Mike, get serious. But anyway, that's just kind of something I wanted to share with people and kind of where I came from uh, years ago and where I'm at today. Uh, Again, this is something that I just started doing whenever I came back to working out a couple of years ago. Um, you know, I, didn't, I don't guess I watched anyone or learned anything from anyone else. It's just something that I instantly started doing because it just felt right. And this also kind of coincides with how you used to really see me train uh, my triceps and my shoulders and my biceps, but we'll say triceps and shoulders because triceps and shoulders are extremely important when you're bench pressing. Now you do use your back a little bit. There is some lat engagement and there's also a little bit of bicep work going on. The chest, it's there, but a lot of it's, let's face it, a lot of that pressing is your arms and your shoulders. So that's why you see me do a lot of heavy stuff with triceps and shoulders and also on incline benching because that strengthens all those muscles that you need to really uh, improve your bench pressing. Now, uh, those of you that follow my channel know that I don't do a lot of uh, heavy arm work anymore. I've kind of toned it down a little bit and I've pretty much cut out all shoulder work because the heavy shoulder work, unfortunately, was triggering my old injury on my arm, making it uh, really painful and just you know, uh, feeling like I, it was going to be impossible to to better myself on my bench, you know, as quickly as as I am. So uh, I kind of cut out doing shoulders. All the shoulder work that I did is good and safe and wonderful, but it was risky for me because I was already injured. That's the problem, you know. Uh, it's not the movements that are bad. It's once you once you get injured, once you do something stupid and get injured, then that's the problem. So anyway, I'm trying to keep from getting injured further and I want to keep other people from getting injured. So in my humble opinion, arms a little bit closer, your hands a little bit closer, your elbows more tucked in, not as much of this, but more of this. All right, kind of take that bar and squeeze that bar and you want to bend that bar and press, press, not out here as much, but here, okay? Anyway, a long-winded uh, tutorial or I don't know what it is. You tell me what it is. Anyway, so guys, 
Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me, Michael, your incredible host on this Saturday evening. Get up, get out, get red, do it. We'll see you next time on the body beat down. Be safe. See y'all later. Get up, get out, get red, and do it, do it.